Tim, I thought this would be the perfect question for uh, a father of all daughters, but what does it mean by 1883 standards to be handsy? Handsy? <laughs> yeah, remember you've got the scene where there's a cowboy who's kind of courting your daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I've got three daughters, so I've gone down that road quite a few times. <laughs> yeah. And handsy in 1883 means anything more than three foot away. Y'all just sit and watch. You look like he had it figured. Thanks for the help. You James Dutton? Yes, sir. You know, I've, I've always been a big fan of Yellowstone. And Taylor first came on my radar after Wind River. I mean, I, I, I don't think I realized that he had written Sicario and, and, and then Hell or High Water was fantastic. But Wind River is the first thing that I watched that I realized that Taylor Sheridan had written. It's the first time I really his name really registered with me. And I, I thought that it was just such an incredible project and such a heart-wrenching project. And it was one of those things, and what film should do is make you walk away from it feeling something and feeling something profoundly. And when River, you walked away from feeling disturbed. And I thought that that was, that was pretty spectacular. Um, and then when I read the script, when he started sending Faith and I the script for 1883, it, it was literally the best stuff that I'd ever read. All the scripts I've read throughout my career, all the books I've read, because I'm a big book reader, I love to read. It, it's one of the best things I, I'd ever read. And and the narration across it from Elsa, my, who, Isabel May, who plays Elsa, my daughter in the show, her narration and the way that it's written throughout the show and how it carries through the show is just pure poetry. It's all about the material. And as an artist, and certainly someone who wants to challenge themselves and get better at everything that they do, when you're presented with this kind of material and the opportunity to do this kind of material, work with somebody like Taylor Sheridan, work with somebody like Sam Elliott, and to be able to do it after 30 something years in this business and 25 years of marriage, to be able to do something this epic and this big of a deal with your wife. I mean, it, it just it was just one of those things that it wasn't about now, it was about the opportunity and the material. I, I think the heart of the show is what people are gonna be most surprised about. Yeah, there's all the action and there's all the, the drama, there's all the the struggle and the, the fight against nature and the fight against man versus man, man versus himself. There's all that stuff. But I think at the end of the day, you're gonna walk away, um, there's gonna be a lot of tears because there's just such a heart to this, this show and, and such a, determination to do good and um and be and be a good person that sort of is the subtext for this along the way is this your land now it is it used to be ours you here to try to take it back there's been a lot of challenges certainly with the weather and and and, and the elements um i think Probably, and, and at the same time, it was the most beautiful place in the world and probably my favorite place to be was Montana when it was 30 mile an hour winds and it was probably 15 degrees with a chill factor around zero. And I didn't, you don't have much clothes on, you know, you're pretty much in costume. So you, it's not like you can throw on a big old jacket or anything like that. So I think that was probably the, the toughest time. And, and not only for us, but when, you know, the animals don't respond well in that sort of situation, especially with the wind. So when you're having to, you know, traverse a cliff side or you, or you have to run wide open and you have to stop and, and be on a mark and deliver lines on a horse, those things can be challenging when it's when, when the elements are, are like that. Okay, I'm just going to say two words and, and then I'll let you just, you know, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I actually could just say one word. I could just say mustache but I'll say the two words, Sam Elliott. I learned from Sam every single day, watching him, how he delivers his lines, his performances, um, how easy it, it comes across. But I also know that he's a hard worker and he's somebody who really takes his craft seriously. And, you know, he, Sam has this presence that's so intimidating. 
And it's so, you know, and there's, there's plenty of times where my character has to challenge his character. And that's probably one of the toughest things that I have to do because I'm so respectful of Sam and in everyday life. And, you know, we, we live together in Montana. We all, we all shared the same area and we got, we're all become great friends. So to be in character and have to stand up and challenge Sam Elliott is, is, it's pretty, sometimes my knees turn to jello, but I have to stand my ground because James, James's knees that don't turn, turn to jello, but Tim McGraw's do when he has to confront Sam Elliott. It'd be an easy question to ask you, you know, what it's like working with Faith, but you've already worked with her, you know, you've created, uh, you know, music together and all this kind of stuff. And I think creative couples kind of have that great connection. But what I want to know it's the first chance you guys have really had on set together and you know, you're on set together for a long time. What have you seen from Ms. Faith Hill? We know each other pretty well. We've been married for 25 years, so it's hard to discover anything new about each other. Um, but what I did discover is she is, I always knew she was talented and always knew that she could do anything. But watching her work, on this film, I discovered a whole new side of of just how talented she is and just how professional she is and what she brings to the table and how she elevates everyone around her, including me. I mean, when, when she's on set and she's doing her work, everybody sort of dials it up a notch because they want to keep up with her because she's just that good. And at the same time, she's so humble about it. She's always sort of the mother to everybody on set. So it's... um. She she's the perfect woman. Yellowstone has set this great precedent with this close relationship between Beth and John. And you were talking about the heart of the show. And really, so far, what I've seen in the first three episodes is that James and Elsa are very much have that same kind of close relationship. You were just talking about being the father of all girls. Wondering if you could speak to the on screen relationship between James and Elsa and perhaps the surrogate relationship you have off camera with Isabel. Yeah, I mean, Isabel and I, and with Faith as well, we, we hit it off right away. When we first showed up at Cowboy Camp, and it was almost an audible gasp from the whole cast because she looked so much like one of our daughters. So when we all walked on set together or walked into Cowboy Camp together, it was everybody was like, oh my God, there, there's no doubt that she could be y'all's daughter. I mean, she, it really works. But we spent a lot of time together. She's an incredible young lady. She's super smart. She's on the ball always prepared all prepared always professional and um and there's we i think all three of us have such a great chemistry together and it, it really shows on screen and anytime we do scenes together it's just it, it's na it naturally just falls into place and it, and for me it naturally turns into to me talking to one of my daughters and which is a great place for me to start and it's a great thing for me to be able to lean back on but she makes it easy because of how good she is I think it's kind of funny that online some of your profiles still list you as a quote unquote aspiring actor because anybody who has seen the show or your body of work, uh, I think we're pretty much convinced at this point. I think you've earned your stripes. Oh, thank you. But ignoring those online profiles, do you feel like you've finally found a home with acting, especially with the show? Does it just feel like home now? Well, this character does in this, this situation. I mean, I, look, I, I've told everybody after doing this is like, who knows what will come up and it's like I said earlier it's all about the material and what material is presented to you but boy I'd be perfectly fine if I can do westerns for the rest of my career I mean I've had so much fun doing this and and being on horseback and working with these guys and I, and you know you see it a lot in film and stuff when there's sort of a troop of actors who work together and do different projects together and boy I'd like nothing better than to carry this troop into some other project Hey, Real Students, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe to Real School, click that round Real School logo right beside me. Also, click that damn notification bell so you're aware of all of Real School's new content. You can follow me on Twitter, and of course, if you get anything out of Real School, you can always give a little back. Just click the link in the description below or the button down there, and you can become part of my Patreon team.